Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. I'm doing more of a news style video for this one uh, because this is very important and I want to get it out to you guys. Uh, iOS 14.8 is now out to pretty much all current iPhones, iPads, uh, and there is also a Mac update as well. And you guys are definitely want to get in on this. Uh, I've seen tons of people online saying that they don't trust Apple, so they don't update their phone and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. I have a very extensive security background and I could tell you that updating your phone is one of the most crucial parts of staying secure online. And this exemplifies it perfectly. So in iOS 14.8, Apple has patched a zero click exploit that was used to distribute the Pegasus spyware. So if you didn't hear about it, this was in the news you know, like a month or two ago. And there were these governments using Pegasus spyware to basically see everything you do on your phone. So as you guys can see last week, the Citizen Lab informed Apple about a new zero click iMessage exploit targeting Apple's image rendering library. Now zero click means you don't have to do anything. Someone sends you a text on your phone and you are instantly infected. This one in particular was called forced entry and the exploit could infect iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches, or Macs with the spyware. Now I did fail to mention the Apple Watch also got an update as well, so update everything today. This spyware provides access to the camera, the microphone, in addition to allowing access to texts, phone calls, and emails. So details about this were sent to Apple on September 7th and it took about a week to fix, which honestly is not that bad. This is really quick turnaround from Apple. Uh, considering that they just got the details last week, six days ago, and they pushed the update out today. Apparently this has been in use since at least February, 2021, which sucks. As you guys can see here, this is how scary it is. The spyware can do everything an iPhone user can do on their device and more. Now, if you read Apple's patch notes, uh, they actually list it as CVE 2021-3086-0 and described it as a maliciously crafted PDF that could lead to arbitrary code execution. Basically, this stuff was being sold to different governments and then they would deploy it on their people to try to track them and stuff. So definitely not a good thing. The whole moral of the story is update your phone, keep it updated. And if you're one of those people that's on 14.1 or something because you're scared of Apple's updates or whatever, you're probably gonna be the one that gets targeted for these things because hackers just go for the lowest hanging fruit. And if you've got an old software that's easily exploited, well, you're gonna be right in the crosshairs. So definitely update your phones, iPads, Macs, Apple Watches as soon as possible. I usually don't make these videos, but this is very important. Uh, people are glossing over just how important this update is, uh, very big. So we got the Apple event tomorrow, so make sure you guys tune into that. That's gonna be awesome. I'll probably do some sort of follow-up, but honestly, all the other YouTubers do it and uh, that's kind of boring. So we'll see about that. I will be picking up the iPhone 13 Pro this week, or at least I'll be pre-ordering it. We'll have a ton of information coming up on that. iOS 15, battery tips and tricks, all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. That's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.